Nina on my side, yeah. On my time, nigga, always keep that fire. When I motherfuckers. Yo, hello. It's Revy here and in today's video I will be showing you guys how to make the popping star effect you guys saw in the beginning. Before we start I just want to say that I've uh, been launching my store where you can buy some uh, editing packs I made and the only one up now is a overlay pack for a very cheap price. So yeah if you want to support me in any way that would be a you know great way to support me. <laughs> Thank you all for the support and uh, yeah. Let's get uh, right into this. So you start off by rotor brushing your clip here, uh, which I already done. And uh, if you don't know how to rotor brush, uh, I will be linking my rotor brush tutorial in the, in the description, so you can watch that. Uh, but yeah, so you start off by rotor brushing your character, uh, so it looks like this, you know, the person. And then when you have rotor brush, you press Ctrl D, and here you're going to delete the rotor brush effect on the layer below. So get the background back. And uh, now we are going to make the star effect. So we are going to, to make a shape layer. So you do make a shape layer like that. And then we go up here to this rectangle tool here and press Q to change the, the form. And here I have the star tool here. And you then you drag it from the middle. So you make something like this. Looks pretty good. And now we are going to change the settings a little bit. So I'm going to open up this polystar here and then uh, stroke one here and the stroke I'm going to be using is red so I'm going to do something like that and then increase the stroke width to 120 around that we can close down this stroke here and then open up fill and we're going to drag uh, the opacity down to zero so it looks something like this so yeah something like that and uh, uh, you are now going to go down to this align tab here so you can make sure this uh, star is in the middle all the time and we're going to make a adjustment layer now now so you press ctrl alt y and then we're going to add uh, transform and here we're going to keyframe the scale of the star here so you can uh, press the beginning the clock here and drag it down to zero and then to one second Looks, looks good. Increase this so the star disappears from the whole from the whole video here. So like something like that. And now we are going to pre-compose these two. So you select uh, both of the layers. Right click pre-compose. You can name this star. Boom. Something like that. So now the the scaling just affects the star now. In the pre-comp. So you open it up and then you press here motion blur. These two. So now it looks something like this instead. You go back. And now we're going to drag the star layer uh, between these two uh, rotor brushed. Uh, the background and the rotor brushed layer. So now you can see it behind him. Boom, something like that. And we're going to make two of these star layers now. So you can press Ctrl D. And then the new uh, star layer, you can make it uh, invisible now for the moment. And we're going to add some effects here to the main star layer here. So we're going to add an effect called the Colorama. And here we're going to keyframe the phase shift here to yeah, the ending. Or one second looks good because that's when it disappears. So yeah, something like that. And we're also going to add an effect called Glow. Decrease the glow a little bit and then Control D. Decrease the radius and then decrease the amount or something like that and then from here we're going to change the blending mode to screen here and to make this effect a little bit more interesting we are going to now use the new layer we uh, copied from the, the new star layer <laughs> uh, and we're going to add a effect called uh, called find edges and here we're going to make it invert yeah something like that and then we're going to add glow again here bam duplicate it Increase the intensity and increase the radius. And then we're going to change the blending mode to screen here. And uh, I also want to change the color of this. So I think I'm going to add uh, colorama again actually. And then drag this above the glow layers here. Boom. So now you get something like this instead. Pretty, pretty cool. Open it up here. Then we keyframe the same we did before. One second. Boom. A little bit less maybe. So it becomes un unsynced. 
add the turbulence to both of the star layers and uh, change the size to 300 and uh, for the the star layer above i'm going to change the evolution to something else so it becomes a little bit more random and then also add motion tile so the edges don't uh, just stop from nowhere copy this to the other star layer as well boom drag it above and then pre-compose them together star pop now the blending modes fuck up but uh, i'm going to add an effect called cartoon to this so yeah now you get something like this instead cartoon popping star i think this looks good and yeah if you want to change the colors here because i thought the uh, one star here looked a little bit the colors here so i'm just going to uh, change the colorama here boom here and then change change it to something else. So I think that looks pretty pretty clean. Uh, and now for some you know fi final touches, you could add a new adjustment layer. So you press Ctrl Alt Y, boom, and here you're going to add a shorten to make the clip more crispier. I like to have 50, and then. Add a new adjustment layer, so control out Y again, and add noise here. And boom, add it to like 10%, looks good. Uh, if you guys just want, want to have like this star effect here like, as an overlay, you can just hide these layers here. And then render only the star here, and then use it uh, again as a, you know, overlay. So you don't have to, you know, recreate it all the time. Uh, if you guys have any new ideas on tutor tutorials I could make, uh, please comment that down below. And if you want to support me, uh, as I said in the beginning, you can uh, buy from my uh, PayP store. Uh, and yeah, uh, I will see you guys next time. Take care and have a nice day.